Hello everybody, I'm back. I'm happy. I'm super excited. You remember last time we did a video, we have had a great response from you. I'm so happy for that. I was so excited to show you uh, the ram with a new outfit. It was a rainy day, shitty weather, weather. but today I'm going to show you the real deal in the dark. We're going to show you the high beam, superb light. We're going to show you some reversing lights, some warning lights, you know. Join us for this and you will have a super evening with us. Today we're going to talk about Siberian Night Ranger especially. We're going to show you how the light is performing. Uh, we have over one lux and two kilometers here with the setup today. And then I talk about the whole including setup we have uh, four nine inch in the front, we have five uh, seven inch on the roof. This is my favorite setup because we are now mixing up two, two of the products. We're mixing up the, the spot version with the, the ear pool version and this gives my, my favorite setup. But uh, you will be well covered just running with the E-Mark version. Or if you are a little bit more from the wild side, use the spot, the spot uh, then you will also have a superb ni uh, and nice beam pattern. We will see how we perform today. Uh, hopefully you will have a nice uh, clear overview what what the night ranger can do for you. This is not only about being cool lightning, it's also about giving you safety net on the road. Uh, if we're lucky now, we will see some of the deer or a moose or a, uh, maybe a small rabbit uh, or some of my neighbors maybe. We, we, will, we will see. This is um, super nice to have you with us. Uh, as I said last uh, from the beginning of this video, we are so happy with your response uh, coming up and now we have a meeting point here again. Let's see how we handle this. Uh, okay, yes, point there. That was too bad. Let's see what we can do. Okay, thank you for that. Work. Sister. Yeah, thanks. Sometimes this car is not so easy to, man to, to handle, it's so wide now, you know. I pimped it up with the big rims, yeah. Um, they're nice looking, but not always nice. Uh, nice. They're always nice to ride, but it's sometimes hard. You need to protect them, you don't want to destroy them. <laughs> See here, we're going to stay here on, uh, on the side and you will have a small uh, check up to see how the lighting is doing. And here you have the deers, they are about uh, 200, 250 meters, uh, 200 meters away. Uh, I would say the 200 first meters is one of the most important things when you have the driving light. Because it's where your eyes have the capacity to catch uh, animals or to follow the road. Uh, let's see, we will leave those guys alone. Okay guys, now we're rolling out here on the, the lonely road. It's on the countryside of Sweden. Uh, I'm uh, born and raised here. It's uh, nice to be here on those roads again, you know, when you were a kid, running around. Uh, so, uh, that is not the story of my lightning passion, it doesn't come from this, this road though, but it, it is nice to be here again, taking a photo, it's coming back to the roots, and have a look, it's uh, wild animals, it's the deers, you see? Uh, this is why you need your light. It's good, it's a, it's a mom and a child. Uh, have a safe day, guys. So if you see now, we have put the, down the Kelvin temperature. We go down to about 5,500 uh, Kelvin. This gives you smooth, nice beam, not too white. Uh, many, many lighting outside, according to us, has too high Kelvin. So it gives you not the great view that you need. Here, you have some cows here on the side and you have some uh, uh, houses and so on. If you have too much Kelvin, you will have too much reflection from that. So this is kind of nice. So we put down the Kelvin degree to make it more smooth for the eyes and also easier for you to drive over a long time. And here we see, perfect, here we have about 300 meters to the tree, and there we go, boom. And as I said, this setup is uh, it's a heavy setup. We have a four night render in the front, we have five, seven inch on the top. And it gives you great, a great view, so to say. And now you see I have the, and the low beam, you know, it's, you, you don't see, anything basically if you compare what you do with the high beam. Boom. See the tree over there, it's about uh, 200 meters away. You see the nice texture, you see the green leaves, you see everything. This is what we talk about when we design the light, to give the best optimized beam pattern with the, the, the right Kelvin temperature on, on, the, uh, on the color on the LEDs. And you also actually see a fox there. You see the eyes of the fox here. Yeah, he's running there over the stones. So it's no doubt, look here, I put on half low beam. You see nothing, 
and then you go high beam. Totally different thing. Guys, now we're going entering a passage of forest here. You know, if you are a, if you are a nerd on lightning like me, this is like uh, mwah. this is very nice to see. You know, you have the trees uh, framing in, in the the high beam. This is nice. You know, it looks cool. It has a nice effect. So this is a gives you a nice view of how the light is covering the road. You see the width uh, and also the length. Next up here we will show you how the, the reverse light from uh, President will work and you will have a, a nice understanding why you should have a reverse light. Reverse light is super underestimated as a product. You know, when you have had reverse light you will never go back uh, riding without reverse light. That's, uh, that's for fact. That's a super good thing. You know, uh, first time I, I used reverse light, it was about uh, eight years ago. I thought as um, you might know, okay, this is not so cool, this is not so good, but man, I was wrong. I was wrong, 100%. And I think, uh, I'll try to show you why. I'll try to show you why here on the road. I will just give it a turn back and then I'm gonna show you what reversing is all about. So now I'm gonna show you some of the nice light here back on the truck. Uh, this is the precedent. You see here, this is the precedent. This is the sexy position light ring I was talking about. Nice glow, isn't it? So the precedent is designed to give you a super wide beam. It's an E-approved reverse light. Comes in uh, five different shapes. We have uh, uh, with 750 lumen, 3000 lumen, up to 4000 lumen. The light beam is designed to give you no shadows. When you work, this is what you need. So you will not get tired eyes. So. This is the president, super slim, easy to mount, uh, fits all type of vehicles. On the top here you see as well, we have the red panda. The, <coughs> the red, <coughs> it's getting cold out here. The red panda, that is a long reversing light. You need to know it's a new different thing here. When you talk about wor uh, work light, you can talk about wide beam work light. It gives you a lot of light nearby the vehicle in the air. But then you have, for example, the red tiger, the red panda, it is long. Uh, long distance work light as I used to say. This was developed by us for the Swedish lorry drivers you know that goes in the forest. They have to reverse long distance and then they have a big uh, uh, big trailer truck and trailer which is 24 meter so when you need to reverse that over let's say five six hundred meters you need to see where you go with only traditional warning light, uh, warning light, boom, work light you only will see five meters ten meters behind the vehicle then it's pitch dark. With a long distance work light, you will see far distance. So with the with the red uh, red tiger, for example, you have uh, 200 meters with super nice light, and and uh, the panda is a smaller version of that. So we will give you here to show you what you can do if you work with both wide wide spreading work light, but also the long distance the distance work light. Uh, yeah, I will first demonstrate for you uh, uh, on the top here. So stay tight, and I will show you. As you see, we have a really nice beam pattern with no shadows. Uh, we also combine, combine, my Swedish English is good, so uh, we combine uh, the long distance from the red panda together with the super even smooth uh, close by beam pattern from the president. This gives you the best uh, or one of the best setups when you go uh, reversing. Okay, let's go. Now we have the precedent here. It gives you a nice smooth beam pattern with a good distance and then we combine it with the red panda which gives you the long light. So if you see on the forest line behind me, you have a really clear view of what you are going. We will also show you this later on on the longer stretch where you will see how the real, how the real magic goes around. Hey guys, I just want to show you now what I talk about with long distance work light. Uh, have a look be behind the, the truck and you will see what I mean, you know. Here we have a nice distance. If you would not know, you would think I was going forward. But this is actually going backwards, reversing. Now I put on the, the knife guard. Just to give you a quick view how you can use a, a LED bar to more purpose than just one. The knife guard has warning light. It's ECE R65 warning light inside. Have a look and you will see how powerful it is.
look, boom, we have 500 meters here to the house. Perfect view and it goes long, far, far beyond that. So, all light lovers, it's been a great evening. I hope you have enjoyed the trip like we did. Please subscribe our YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up and please comment what you want to see next on our next YouTube episode. And most important of all, don't be afraid of the dark. Take care, so long.